Okay, this is Max Zeldich with Fire Escape Engineers. We're here in Jersey City today, conducting a fire escape inspection <coughs> on a building. Okay, this is a welded fire escape, newer. It has, <coughs> it has a platform that connects one apartment to the back fire escape on the roof of the building. This is a platform here that's suspended over the uh, rubber roof. The doorway is over here, the entry. And this is your egress route right here. Uh, this platform actually seems to be in good condition. Uh, railings are proper height, 42 inches to code. Everything is nice and stiff, as you can see. You shake on it, everything is nice and supported. Uh, all connections are tied into the wall over here, as you can see. Nice and secure, nice and secure the whole way down. Okay, let's make our way over to the platform here and inspect the uh, through bolts and some of the wells and stairs. Okay, here we have it. This is the platform with the stairs that leads down to the uh, second floor from the rooftop. All right, now this fire escape, one interesting characteristic is there's an interior stairwell. So what that does is that allows you to not have egress to the uh, first floor, okay? Since there's two interior, uh, interior stairwells. Now, one issue that I saw right away was the handrail right here on the wall. I'm gonna bring you right into it right here. All the connections need to be checked that go into the wall, all right? Next, down here, the trusses that support the second platform. They seem to be through bolted correctly. However, we need to verify the connections on the inside of the building. As you can see right here, this is the top threaded bolt. It seems to be one inch diameter. And on the bottom, you have five eighths, right here, five eighths bolts uh, on the bottom end uh, for additional support and kickback. Uh, the welds seem to be in decent condition. As you can see here, this is the stringer. They're using 2 inch by 8 inch structural channel. Uh, all the uh, stringers, <clears throat> I mean all of the uh, trusses are actually welded directly to the platform itself. The welds seem to be in fairly good condition. However, uh, we need to do a load test or through bolt it in order to verify that or correct that, shall I say. Uh, handrail could use an extra support. It's a little bit loose, a little bit of play as you make your way down once you get towards the middle. Um, coming down now to the individual stair treads. They are one inch bar grating. They are welded, as you can see, one side, middle, and back side. Okay? They're also welded from underneath, as you can see right here all right welds also seem to be in pretty good condition uh, but we do need to verify that uh, easier to put two bolts right through it and correct it to avoid the load test though bottom platform which is the last platform on this fire escape you can see we got a galvanized or shall I say zinc coated bolt one inch we need to verify that connection and we also have that five gates at the bottom as well. Also welded to the platform itself. Uh, this fire escape definitely needs a repaint as you can see. Uh, top rail uh, is definitely rusted. The channel is showing signs of rust uh, as well as the handrail and the bar grating definitely needs to uh, be gone over with some paint as well uh, and, and, a, and a light scrape down. That concludes the video here in Jersey City today. It's Max Zeldich, Fire Escape Engineers. Thank you.